this is, this is the first time in the history of the world where an American Vietnamese and a Dutch Vietnamese communicate in Vietnamese together. I'm pretty sure. Xin chào. Xin chào. Oh god, we already failed. We already failed. We already failed. <laughs> the Netherlands. You can call it my home away from home in Europe. Sushi nights with my Vietnamese Dutch family. Just like your own family or any other family, except... Doesn't everyone kickbox? Amsterdam and its canals. And of course, this landmark. No wait, look closer. That's more like it. Saigon Cafe was where I was able to meet a few Vietnamese Dutch people who love Vietnam enough to travel as far as 100 kilometers to have a meal. And of course, you have your standard Vietnamese food, but with a more European twist. And the twist was the surreal aspects of hearing Vietnamese people speaking Dutch to each other. Yes, I definitely understood. What is my durian ice cream? I really want to thank everyone for coming out that afternoon. I had a great time meeting you guys. And just down the street is Bonam, a trendy Vietnamese modern restaurant that has been getting some rave reviews. I came before opening hours, and Nghia, the owner here, has been living in the Netherlands for 38 years. How long have you been here, Nghia? Uh, six months. We're open just six months. But Nghia has had a lot of experiences with food. In fact, he helped bring the banh mi to Amsterdam. We opened up a, a, a banh mi shop. Oh, okay. And there weren't any banh mi shops here in uh, Amsterdam. Oh, okay. So we were the first, and people were like, whoa. And this is Long. She's also doing innovative things with food. And this is Sencha, her eatery located in Alkmaar. But let's get there first. Being not too far from Amsterdam, the city of Alkmaar is one of the most popular places to visit in the entire country. Alkmaar attracts a lot of visitors because it's simply a quaint city with a distinct cultural vibe that includes a lot of cheese. In fact, beyond a cheese museum, there's also a cheese market. And also in Alkmaar, I met up with the tallest Vietnamese man in the Netherlands. They say I'm the biggest, I'm okay. the tallest. So it's well, official. So, yeah, it's official. official yeah, the... uh, <laughs> official, 100% Vietnamese, I'm the tallest one. At 6'2", how did he get to be so tall? Uh, at school? Yeah. Uh, one whole bread. Are you kidding? Uh, yeah. With balai, yeah. with uh, meat, yeah. cheese, yeah. everything. Uh, the whole bread? The whole bread. That's only at school. Yeah. Then when I was, home? I came home, I eat another bread. <laughs> no, 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 no. I eat my meal. Yeah. Six to eight, comb of rice. No. Oh my god. Everything uh, that my parents don't eat anymore, yeah. I eat. I, eat, I made clean. All of this eating talk made me really thirsty. Good thing I was at Sencha. Did you like that plug law? So in addition to fruit blends and drinks, you also have an assortment of open sandwiches that emphasize healthier options and portions. I believe I had the salmon and avocado and I highly recommend it from the menu. But this place isn't just another place to get a fish sandwich. It's known as a lunch store, meaning everything that you see is also for sale. Your basic premise is that it's organic. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I think 80% is organic. Uh, because, um, how do you call it, my neighbor, uh, they have cheese also, uh, but the cheese is local, and local is not always organic, you know, but I support the, the neighbor. What inspired you to create this? Uh, my father, and uh, in the past I worked for eight years in the health. The reason I started this is because um, uh, we all have our health, and, uh, and we don't do always uh, things that we love, you know? And because my father and the people with uh, disabilities, uh, they let me uh, realize that uh, sometimes you have to do and follow your heart. And that's why I do my <laughs> this is your heart. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It makes me happy when people uh, come here and go go out with a smile.
Vietnam, they thought I'm not a Vietnamese. I'm a Korean. Right, right. right. And uh, they are uh, talking uh, in Vietnamese. And, oh, wow, my God, he's so tall and uh, he's a Korean. And uh, I uh, speak uh, with them uh, in Vietnamese. And uh, they're shocked. They're shocked. They say, uh, huh? Korean uh, speaking uh, Vietnamese. How come? How come? No, 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 wrong, wrong guy. That's all boy. Wrong guy. Yeah, wrong guy. So I said uh, to them, no, uh, no, I'm not Korean. I'm Vietnamese. Pure Vietnamese. The public transportation system in Holland is top notch. The ease and convenience of their train system made traveling to Rotterdam quite easy. This is Rotterdam, and as you can see, its architecture reaches the skies, such futuristic designs. But I didn't come just for the pretty sights. I came to meet up with Min and Bobby, two local university students. And together, we were about to try Vietnamese food for the first time in Rotterdam. It's good. It's good? Yeah, it's good. It's time for you to eat outside of the yeah. home. Hopefully your mom's not watching this. She'll feel like, <laughs> you betrayed me. She'll be like, we have it at home, why? Better than herring, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot better. Hey, wild herring, there, you, there it is. That's a new concept right there. Yeah. Uh, xin chào. Oh, xin chào. Oh, xin chào. Oh, con người Việt Nam. Oh, con người Việt Nam. Phải nói thiệt luôn. Chứ không, chứ không phải là loại người Thánh, không phải là Bắc Giang hay là đấy. Không, không, không. Con có đi bao lâu rồi? Ờ, đi sang bên châu Âu thì đây vẫn phải 30 năm rồi. Wow. <laughs> you have a home nickname? Yeah. Everybody does. You? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you mind sharing your home nickname? Ball. Huh? Ball. Ball? Yeah. <laughs> like, I think our parents picked the most embarrassing nicknames yeah. for us because to be called at home. Because it's cute or something. You want to know why? Yeah. Okay, I've never told anybody, especially the camera, but my family calls me Sikula Chocolate. <laughs> Sikula is yeah, chocolate, yeah. My aunt, I mean, a lot when I was a kid, but not so much anymore. Do you feel Dutch? Yeah, when I'm not at home, then I feel Dutch. When I'm uh, at home, then I feel completely like Vietnamese. Completely Vietnamese? <laughs> yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it's not a combination of both. You don't feel like Dutch Vietnamese. It's either one or the other. Yeah. I'm like uh, completely two different uh, worlds. Right. Two different realities. Yeah. Okay. When you come home, do you take your shoes off right away? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you afraid of like feather dusters and like things like that? You know what I'm talking about, right? People, then you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. Bobby, do you feel Dutch? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you feel? It's a mix, mixture between uh, Vietnamese and Martian. When you think of Dutch street food, there's nothing more famous than lumpias, or chaya, or nam, or egg rolls, or fried spring rolls, whatever you want to call them. I just call them massively popular in the Netherlands. I mean, it even brings people together. Việt Nam ở tỉnh nào? Ở Mỹ. Ở Mỹ. À Mỹ à, à Mỹ về à? Gò vấp. Ồ, thật ra có gần cái chuồng chó rồi. Đây gần nằm chuồng chó đúng rồi. Đó. Xin chào, cảm ơn anh. Chào anh. Chúc anh dễ thương vui vẻ nha. Xin chào. Em nha. Nha, em Vietnamese. Vietnamese. <laughs> Despite their popularity, they aren't on every street corner, mostly at weekend markets these days. But there's a cart I highly recommend in Rotterdam with a very friendly owner. Yeah, uh, no, no, I don't know. Come go to your own market. Don't know. No, 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 no. The best. The best. Yeah, I'm gonna try to chú chú cho cháu thử một cái lumpia. Thử là không thử ở đây Hoàng Lan là không thử là chỉ có ăn thôi. Ok ăn ăn không được không được nhìn. Ok ok. Người Hoàng Lan đến đây là mắc nít cay cần ăn lên mà cốp à? Giáp tốt. Yeah. Người Hoàng Lan khác người Mỹ lắm. Nhất là người Việt Nam ở bên này vừa đẹp trai này, sang lại vừa yêu khách này, sẽ mở văn trường các bạn. <laughs> oh, you 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 come out, huh? You go high, but I don't know. 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 I don't
Ok, thì mấy mấy giờ chú bắt đầu bán nhỉ? Chú ở đây thường chú ra là khoảng 10 rưỡi. Ok, tới mấy giờ? Tới mấy giờ nhỉ? Ok, thôi xin chào. But the popularity of Olympias is just one example of how well the Vietnamese have done for themselves in the Netherlands. They came from all regions of Vietnam, but one thing is for sure, they've assimilated into Dutch society quite well, and they have it all. They even had me take pictures for them. They truly have it all in the Netherlands, and they even have Dutch bánh xèo. It's a it's a Dutch bánh xèo. That's what it is. Yes. No. Yes. Dutch cheese and bacon. It's not bánh xèo. It's the Dutch bánh xèo. Okay, okay, sorry, it's not a bun sale, it's not a bun sale. Again, it was an honor and privilege for me to see the inner workings of Dutch Vietnamese families living their lives. I mean, I was even invited to a birthday party. <laughs> yeah. Fireworks at the dinner table. Man, the Netherlands is amazing. And it's amazing in part due to these people, the innovators bringing concepts from the motherland and making them mainstream in their new homelands. The Vietnamese have not only adapted well to Dutch culture, they are thriving. Yet at the same time, they haven't forgotten about their roots and they really care about Vietnam. Thank you to everyone who made this video possible and thank you for watching. And thank you to Alina for not beating me up. I've been Kyle and those were Vietnamese people in the Netherlands. This is the Dutch punishment candy, right? When you do something bad, they'd make you eat this.